Weather has been relatively mild the last couple days. Temperatures staying above freezing or normally we're down to around or slightly below freezing. That starts to change tonight though. Colder air on the way. That cold front comes through tonight, resulting in a much more wintry Wednesday. Out ahead of that, you're noticing plenty of flurries on the radar. However, they're fizzling out pretty quickly. There's a lot of dry air in place out ahead of the snow showers. So that's why they aren't really getting much for traction, resulting in barely anything falling over the rest of this evening as we zoom in on satellite radar. One little burst of flurries coming in from southern Wisconsin, but other than that, we should have a fairly dry evening and not even a dusting expecting out of these uh, snow flurries on the way. Our downtown camera showing fairly dry conditions right now, and that should stick around as we go into this evening. Future track doesn't show much for snowfall at all uh, through about 5:30, 6 o'clock. We have some hints on radar. Then after that, dry conditions taking over will stay dry through Wednesday, so pretty quiet weather around the corner. However, Temperatures are going to drop. Uh, we'll be back down a lot closer to average. But that's going to feel chilly considering we've been well above average lately. 12 degrees for an overnight low. Again, this is normal for this time of year, but we've been spending uh, the nights well into the 20s, if not the 30s lately. So that 12 is going to feel extra chilly, especially with breezy winds kicking in. Gusts up 25 miles per hour. That likely means single digit wind chills going into the morning. The sky clears out tonight, so expecting to see lots of sunshine tomorrow. Temperatures just slightly below average at 27 degrees, but this is a good 10 degree drop over what we experienced today. So uh, again, even though we're back to around where we should be this time of year, that weather is going to feel cold. We do see the lighter breeze, though, so that should definitely help. It only lasts one day as we head into Thursday. We're jumping 20 degrees, resulting in rain showers on the way, along with some wind. We could see wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour out of the south as that weather system pushes not only the warm air, but the drizzly conditions in towards us. Here's future track with an early look at Thursday. Late in the morning, some light showers breaking out. We head into the afternoon and evening, uh, much more in the way of drizzly rainfall. We're not looking at any kind of downpours here, but it will be a somewhat soggy day as we do have that on and off drizzle lasting well into Friday morning. Temperatures staying above freezing, however, so not expecting any ice out of this. Going into Friday night, though, possibility of some icing. A wintry mix is looking a little more likely sometime between Friday night and Saturday night. However, the storm tracks are still evolving. We probably will get a clear picture of this on Thursday. Once that weather system finally moves on to land, it's well out over the Pacific at this point. So there still are a lot of shifts within the models, and that determines what falls. But right now, snow and freezing rain may be in play starting Friday night. We have increasing confidence of this scenario here. We may see much more of that wintry mix right across the state line, though. If models shift this south, we could see a lot more in the way of snow. If they happen an inch northward, which isn't looking likely right now, could see more in the way of rain. So we'll keep you up to speed throughout the week. Temperatures will be in the 40s for a couple days after tomorrow in the 20s, and we settle down into the 30s going into the end of the weekend. James and Kristen. All right, Alex, thank you. The Rockford